And I'm tired of Republicans and Democrats. Well, the United States who either want Republicans who want to burn place to the ground. Kill. And Democrats. Those are your words that the country is being held hostage. This is a negotiation by the Trump. You know, I, I, one of the first, the first president I ever knew um, was Gerald Ford, and I remember talking with him about uh, about uh, about the pardon, you know, which is his, right. I think, most enduring act as president is pardoning Richard Nixon, and I, I um, and he, he related a. Uh, a story where he, the pardon was granted on uh, the 8th of September, which was a Sunday. The day before, that Saturday, uh, Gerald Ford played golf with Tip O'Neill, who's of course a Democrat, someone on the other side of the aisle with whom uh, Ford had come up in Congress. And he told Tip O'Neill that he was going to grant Nixon the pardon. And Tip O'Neill said, are, are you nuts, Jerry? That's, that's crazy. You'll lose the election, meaning the election in 1976 where Ford will, would have, could have won the presidency in his own right. And he said, Tip, you're, you're, you're probably right, but this pardon is the right thing to do. And I thought, you know, uh, Ford was really a beacon of civility. I think not, that's not only an example of great political courage, but it is... It, it harkens back to a time when, you know, not only a, you know, would, would uh, Republican and Democrat play golf together, but they would be concerned right. about each other personally. That's an amazing thing, and that always stuck with me. Uh, and Ford believed to his dying day that it was the right thing to do, and indeed, um, he was vindicated because it it, it was a as a means of healing our nation in the wake of something that was dividing us. Any final thoughts about about the future of the country and uh, how we can try to reclaim uh, civility and the way we interchange? I think we are a, a better nation when we listen to each other, when we try to understand each other, when we try to come to terms with one another. Uh, and if if you look at the way this nation was founded, that's precisely um, uh, you, you know how it happened, because people of very different opinions and backgrounds came together toward a concept that was greater than themselves. 